Hi everyone, it's Robin from Crafting with Robin and today I have a Dollar Tree haul from two different visits, two different Dollar Trees. Um, so I will start over here. Now my granddaughter informed me that I need to talk a little bit louder because they weren't able to hear me very well, so I'm going to try to talk a little louder. Even though I'm not far away from the microphone, but maybe I need to like invest in one of those nicer microphones, a nicer camera, the whole works, but when I can afford it, I will. And I found these two garden stakes, gnomes. One says hello, one hello spring. And I just thought they were cute. I don't know if I will leave them on here or take these this out. I don't think it would be too hard to pull that out of there or cut it off. But anyways, I just thought they were cute. And I love my gnomes. Which brings me to the other gnomes. I believe one of these might be my daughter's. These are the garden flags. I'll just open up one, they're both the same. And this I was thinking about, because I don't have a curtain in my bathroom. So I was thinking about just hanging this up in the window. So when you walk in, you see it. It's, it's a small window. It's not gonna cover the whole window, but I have that, um, what do you call it, that film plastic film over the bottom window so you can't see in. I thought that was cute or I could hang it anywhere in the house, outside, whatever. And then I was able to find, and I think I ended up getting more than I needed because I think I went, when I went to the second one, which was two days later, I think I forgot what I got at the first one, so I ended up buying a couple more, but I finally found these. Now, I haven't seen these. This is the first time I've seen them in the Dollar Tree in any of the ones that I went to, and it actually happened to be my local one, which usually I don't see a lot of stuff that other people get that I like. So I got two of each of these, and then when I went to the other one, I did get another one of these. But I'm hoping to get into doing some more videos with crafts. I got the house shape. It's a darker wood look, almost like a dark paneling look. <laughs> and then I got, I found the round one. I think I just got one of these. Yep, it looks like it, with the beads on the top. kind of wish I would have got two now, but they're cute. I'll do something with it. And then I did get two of these, one at each of the Dollar Trees I went to. And this has the darker wood look paneling, like the, kind of matches the house. A little bit. And I got just this square or rectangle, I should say. Does it say the size? No. I'm going to say it's like maybe four by eight or something. And it's probably a three fourths inch thickness. Is that all the wood I got? That's all I'm seeing right now, so I got this little first time I've seen this at and the two dollar trees that I went to are the two local closer to me ones that I go to often. So it was kind of nice to be able to see some of the stuff I don't normally see. Um many burlap shaped flags. And I'm gonna open it. I think it's a garland, or it's to make a garland. We'll find out. Yep, it looks like it's a garland. I got it backwards. So, actually, I think it'll fit 
almost perfect on my mantle. I could maybe put some little cutout hearts or something on it for Valentine's. That'd be cute. It's got a couple of fabrics, the sunflower fabrics. Maybe I'll do some pillows for the spring or something. And I started my Valentine's for my boyfriend. I got him some chocolates with a little puppy on it. I and I was able to find, and I do have, I think I have the other one too, the, with the, this house one with the beads. And then I got the heart mold, silicone mold. I'll make some heart cupcakes or something. Um, super glue, single use. And a couple more fabrics. These are the, I'm going to open this. I think I might have hauled this before, but it, actually I might have hauled it where it was the opposite, where it was white with some darker pictures. I'm not sure, but this is really pretty farmhouse fabric. So I got two of those. And LA Colors Charmed Lip Duo. I might have hauled this before. I know I've hauled a couple of these and I gave them away for Christmas. But I did get the one with the cow, pig, and rooster. Yeah, it's this. Oh. And I grabbed this. I might have grabbed a couple others, but the gnomes for the fairy gardens. Um, when it gets closer to spring, I will show you my haul from last year. I have a tote that's, or one of those fabric totes that's full of fairy garden items that I hauled last year. Um, and I never, I wasn't doing videos at that time, but I plan on a fairy garden. Um, making fairy gardens with all the grandkids with my sisters and so I just grabbed a few more gnomes these might be new I don't remember if I have them but I've bought so many things that but when there's that many kids we need extra so we can everybody get something they want and I've already hauled these hearts once but I got some more Pretty sure I hauled these ones before. Yeah, I think I did. And I found the packages of the rectangle um, wood planks from Crafter Square. And there's six in each bag. I don't come across those very often. But I did get the pig and the rooster from this store. They didn't have the cow, but I was able to find the cow yesterday when I went to the other store. Here it is. And actually I got ended up with two of them because my daughter wanted one. And she left it in my bag, so we'll put that aside for her. So I do have all three of them. I don't know if these are chalkboards. Or just painted black. I'll have to test it out and see. If you know, let me know. And I found this um, red and red and white kind of a checkered plaid, whatever um, vinyl, permanent vinyl. And I mean, I know these little ones probably aren't as economical as the bigger ones, but. I just figured that they didn't have it in the bigger one and it's a pretty pattern and I might do something like what they have here but just do part of it the checkered and the rest with a, a welcome or something signed to it um, I did grab a couple pens 
Not really sure why, but I guess because I thought they were nice looking. And some ponytails. Oh, I did grab two of those buying them. And some ponytails. I wear my hair and up in ponytails or in buns like this for work especially all the time. One of these I believe might be my daughter's. I'm not sure if I grabbed both or if she grabbed one. But I think this is a new label for Dollar Tree. Okay, and then I got two of these Barbie outfits. They're the same one. Looks like a chef. Figured I'd have them for gifts for the grandkids. And then I here's some more fairy garden stuff. I got some fairies. Some more little fairies. And then this little tree stump, which... The signs, he's got a little sign with him that says welcome. You know, and if you if you wanted to buy stuff like this for tiered trays too, they would look really cute on tiered trays. Here's a little walkway, sidewalk with um, the welcome sign. Last year I bought a whole bunch of the little houses, buildings, whatever you want to call them. Um, here's some mushrooms and a uh, watering can with some with the welcome sign. It gets too bright in here. <laughs> and I think this is the last one. And it's a different kind of, it's a tree with a face carved in it and then a little mushroom house. I don't know how to block the light so you can see it. I could just open it see if I can put it back. But there's quite a bit of detail in these. They're really cute. So my plan is I'll have like all the big houses in one area, the big pieces, and the kids can choose one from there. And then we'll go from there, their accessories and stuff. Not really sure. I bought a bunch of those um, small, or those round with the wheels on them. They're like for plants, so you can roll the plants around. I bought a bunch of those and then a bunch of the clear plastic inserts for those, and that's what I figured we would use for the base of it. Now, that's what I came up with. I don't know if anybody else has any better ideas. Let me know. The other option we thought about doing was, and we did this years ago when my daughter was young, we made fairy houses using um, moss, sticks, acorns, whatever we could get and glued it all together, did a roof, did everything. And then we actually made our little fairies using beads and flower petals and stuff that we took apart. and. So we did that one year. So we kind of thought maybe we could build their houses. This might end up being an, either an all-day thing or a two-day thing. But build the houses and then um, add some of this, these embellishments to it to make it look a little cuter. So that might be the better option. I don't know. I got one bag down there yet. But I did find these insert card sets. And I believe they can be used on the Cricut, or the Cricut Joy anyway, maybe. I don't know. And here's more ponytail. These are the ones I like the best. They kind of stay in my hair a little better, keep it up a little better. And I think I got two of these. They're kind of foggy because I just brought them in for my car. I think I might have got two of them, but oh, yep, here's the other one. And I know I already have like one or two of these, but I'm kind of redoing my kitchen a little because everything in my kitchen is kind of mismatched. This way I could have it kind of matching a little. 
And the mismatch doesn't bother me either. But like for coffees, um, that type of stuff. And I did buy two cheddar garlic biscuit mix mixes. I might add a little of my own cheese, extra cheddar to it to make it a little bit more more like um, red lobsters. <laughs> but these are Pillsbury. <laughs> and here's a couple more of these. So I found them at my second Dollar Tree I went to also. Which made me happy. I really tried hard not to overbuy, but I think I did. I bought another one of those. I think I did anyway. And then I got two of these with the animals on them. One of them I got because my daughter said that her her daughter would really love that. Two, both of them would. Whoops. Oops. Oh, oh, something came out. Something's ripped in here. Oh, must just be an extra piece. But here they got some pretty pictures. Squirrel. Raccoon. I think there's two of each. The deer. A rabbit. Fox. So those are cute for, and they are five by seven, so you could put them in a frame as a background for some other decorations. I didn't see the bird in there or the mushrooms. They're in the way back. Oh, there's the mushrooms. And there's the bird. That's cute. You could almost use the bird and embellish the around it with some more greenery and stuff. Color it a little brighter. I don't know where that came from. And then this one has different sayings and stuff. Um, no matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. So that's by Robin Williams. It's Let's dare to be ourselves, for we do that better than anyone else can. Shirley Briggs. So let's see if we find, I'm not gonna just do another one, I think. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. George Bernard Shaw. We'll do one more. Savor the moments that are warm and special and giggly. That one doesn't have an author. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. That's Albert Einstein. But yeah, those that's really cute. Make each day your masterpiece, John Wooden. Anyways, that's that's cute. And five by seven, like I said, so it would you could put um put it in a frame and do something else with the frame, embellish the frame a little bit. And then I found these, that this is the first time I've seen these. They're the, they were in the garden section. It says welcome, and it's got like a, um, what would you call that, a spade, a butterfly, shovel, whatever you want to call it, garden tool of some kind. <laughs> I used to garden, but I don't do that anymore. I, I've, been, I've been known to kill plants, so. And this one says garden. And it's got the the pot and the glove. These are I, I really like these signs. They're cute. And this one, hello with the bird and the flower. Actually, our family is thinking about doing a community garden this year. At my parents' place, they have they have the most land to do it, but all of us pitch in. We all have our jobs to do and um, I decided planting and maybe canning is my better area. Oops, I was I was almost going to open these, but I'm not going to because they're going to go to my niece for her birthday with her other sewing stuff that I'm giving her. So I got these two fabrics here. Did I just get two? Yeah, it looks like it. Butterflies and flowers. 
I did thought I got an think I got another one, but I'm not seeing it anywhere, so. But those are cute. She can be creative. I got this for my boyfriend, a rose. Figured I have to buy it now or it's going to be gone. I won't get anything later. I always give him gift cards because then I get to participate in that when he goes to eat. <laughs> he loves like going for coffee, going to like Jersey Mike's, different places like that. So, And then I did find a cup, some more leather. One of them restocked on the leather, the full leather. So I grabbed a black and a brown one. They had the blue. I'm not sure if I've seen the white yet. I don't think I've ever hauled it. I might have. But... I need to start using the stuff instead of buying it. That would be the better idea. Let's see, and this is my daughter. She grabbed this, a cuticle trimmer. Okay, and I got, ooh, is this leaking? No. Nope, it's just cold. Toilet cleaner, because I needed it. I did get three more candlesticks, but I did use a couple of my other ones that I hauled before for something. So got a few more, one of each size. To maybe do something else with. I got some of the disposable cups, the Valentine ones. Those are cute. Um, a card says, I, I like you a lot, Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And I, I've said this before, my boyfriend makes homemade cards for me, and he always asks me why I don't make him a card. So I give him these and tell him that, well, they look homemade. Because <laughs> I'm not, I need to use my joke, Cricket Joy, to do that, but not that good at it. A little stuffed doggy. It's cute. Some milk duds, which are his favorite candy, and some socks. And they feel like they're pretty warm. Um, let's see, is there anything else here? I got two, two packages of parchment paper. So I use that all the time. Anytime I use my baking sheets, I put parchment on them. And then I did grab some um, towels, a, a towel and a set of washcloths in gray and red, because I have a DIY I'm, I'm trying to work on, and it involves me storage for my towels and washcloths, and I just thought it would be nice if I had some newer ones that look a little nicer. And I, and I don't care what I use, but my boyfriend, for some reason, likes these with the mesh inside. They stick to my dry fingers, so they're kind of irritating to me, but I use them. I mean, once they're wet, they don't stick like that, but I do use them. Well, let's see what's in this bag. Okay. I got two of these. No, I got one of these and two of these. So one bigger one, two smaller ones, and that's going to go the same with trying to organize my coffee and hot cocoa, all that stuff in my kitchen. With the other two smaller jars I got. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. But I believe that might be it. I think it is. Yep. My favorite thing I have to say that I found, two favorite things. These I think are really cute. I'm actually gonna I think I'm gonna go put them in my tiered tray right now. Even though I got Valentine stuff in there. I don't know if I've seen any Valentine ones like these. I could always change this up and put a heart in there. Or put a heart on the house. That would work too. Anyways, that was it. Um I hope you enjoyed it. Today's Sunday. Tomorrow is we don't have school, but I do go in for a couple hours. But I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day. We will, whoops, see you next time. Bye.